Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm one of the teachers here at Yoga West, and today we're going to go through the vinyasa. Uh, vinyasa is a term used in a lot of yoga classes nowadays, and it simply denotes the movement from downward dog to plank, chaturanga, upward dog, back to downward dog. But within that short sequence, there's a myriad of variations that you can choose. And today we're just going to give you a couple of options and options to suit each level. So we'll start from downward dog and I'll see you there in a moment. From your downward dog, inhale and come forward to plank pose. And in our ideal world, plank pose is plank like it's one line from the crown of the head to the heels, shoulders curving backwards, shoulders over the heels of the hands, tailbone drawing towards the back of the mat, and it's a very active pose. But please do know that you can bring the knees down and lengthen up in one line instead. From your plank pose, there are three options to come down to the ground. From the knees down, you could either press to elbow height, release the top of the feet, and then roll down the legs, then belly, then chest. Or, from elbow height, you come down chest, then chin, butt sticks up, that's okay, and inhale to cobra. And your third option, and this is the strong one that you need to build up to over time, from plank pose, inhale forward and down to exhale to chaturanga. And then you come up to cobra or upward dog. And it's a really strong move. Just to run through that again, if you are coming through full chaturanga, you lengthen in your plank, come forward and down, elbow height, and then up to upward dog or cobra. So those are three options to come down to the ground. Two with the knees down, one with the knees up. But whichever option you come to, you only come to elbow height. Once you're down to the ground, if your belly is fully to the ground, hug the elbows in, hands underneath the shoulders, lengthen through the back of the neck, press the toenails down, and inhale up to cobra. Cobra can be baby, elbows bent, heart lengthening forward. It can be a little bit more dramatic, still with the hips down, still with the elbows softly bent, heart stretching up a bit more, or your upward dog option. Everything lifts up, palm from the tops of the feet and the hands. The shoulders stack over the heels, elbows still in, heart forward. And we're not looking up and cooking the neck, we're looking forward. And then roll over the feet, back to downward dog. So there you have three sets of options for all these different poses, and I'm going to show you the three ways that you can come through a vinyasa. For your first option, inhale, come forward to plank, knees down. Tricep press to elbow height, release tops of the feet, thighs, then belly, then chest. Inhale to baby cobra, tuck the toes back to downward dog. For your next option, you inhale, come forward to plank. Knees, chest, chin, down as you exhale. And inhale up to a more strong version of cobra. And then your third option, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale through upward dog. And exhale back to downward dog. But the most important thing to remember is that you have choices and you are in control of your body in every practice. If the teacher gives you the option of vinyasa and you don't want to, you can stay in downward dog or take the younger option of child's pose.